welcome to Grateful Art. It's Ashley here and today I want to show you how to paint peonies. If you would like to learn art and be more creative, you can hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified whenever I have a new video. My videos are supported by sponsors. If you would like to sponsor a video, you can tell me exactly what you want and there is a link in the description where you can go and sponsor one. Thank you, Sierra at Wildberry Meadows for giving me these beautiful peonies to paint. The best time to get peonies in Alaska is just around wedding season in the middle of July to the middle of August. I have put a link in the description below to Wildberry Meadows where you can order some yourself. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need a glass float frame, your Pabillo Vitre 160 paints, and some liners to go with those. Something to put those paints on, mineral spirits to clean out your brush, and you want some inexpensive, really soft bristle brushes. Okay, so first of all, I have already cleaned my glass, and that's what you wanna do first. In a float frame, there are two pieces of glass. You just need to paint on one piece. So the first thing that I'm going to lay down is where I want my flowers to be. And so I'm gonna grab some of my pink here. With peonies, there's a very like cabbage look to them. When I go and I outline this, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have smooth edges here. So I'm just going on the outside here and laying down this first one. This one is gonna be round, okay? So you see how I painted this? with a round right here, but I didn't paint one line. I just left it really loose. I don't want it to go off the glass, so I'm gonna make a peony come right up here and see how I'm just kind of being very, very loose. So I'm seeing this in my head, but I'm looking at this right here, okay? So I'm putting down what I'm seeing in my head, and I'm also putting down what I'm seeing in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna lay down a peony right here on the side here. You can definitely see this line right here. It's going to be a leaf right through here. So let me just grab some green and it's kind of like a triangle. And then there's a little bit right here, a lot of green right through here. I'm just going to lay down those these. Notice how I'm just being really loose right now. Okay, wash out my brush because there's green on it. Okay, so there's this huge peony right here and this is going to be pretty much the focal point because this is going to have the most contrast along with this little guy right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and give ourselves a little guideline of where this is beginning in the center here. And then it goes around like this. We've got some petals coming in here. And then the petals come up throughout here. Okay. Comes down. My jiggity jaggedy lines here. Okay, there's another peony just right through here. It's a lighter pink one. So just go and grab some of the white. And then it comes down. Okay, you can kind of see how it's forming. Another one over here. This one's a, a light one as well, and it's facing this direction. So you don't see a center, you're just seeing a whole bunch of layers here. Okay. And then you'll have this hole right through here, and we'll decide what to do with that later. Okay, and then see how this is kind of like um, a rectangle right here? We're gonna break that rectangle because we can, because this is a painting, not a picture. 
So we're going to bring down a flower right through here. And this will add more interest. So I want the petals to be just really separated from everything that's going on up here. Okay, see how that shape just brings it down? Okay, now we have sort of our outline. Now we have the jar that they're in. And what I'm going to do with the jars, I'm going to use blue. That will go with my frame to outline it. So I want the jar to be about right here. It's just kind of a rectangular shape. And remember, it's very loose. Okay, and it's going to be sitting on something here. Okay, so see how I rounded out that corner? The jars have rounded corners. And then I'm going to come up right through here, but I'm not going to make a full line right on this side. Okay, down here is going to have some darker areas because of the shadow and the reflection. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that right now with my dark brown. Okay, and it's going to be sitting on a table of sorts. So I can either make a line go right across or I can give it a little more interest. And have it end right there. And have this come across. This is just the sketch, so it's all good. But it doesn't quite make sense right now. Okay, so there you go. See, I like to have a little bit of the jar lid showing because it's cool. And you know there's several different lips on there, so I'm just making sure that it's going to be covered quite a bit. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in, but... And any mistakes that you make, you can just wipe it off before it dries. And then if it dries, then you can scratch it off. So you can just take it off like that. So I definitely want this part right here to show the jar shape. Okay? Alright. So then we're going to have the stems in here. Alright? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some white right here on this edge. You can take your finger and smooth it. Then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put it in my green. And this is just going to be some green back here that is very blurry. So it'll look like some stems, but it looks like the water's filtering through and you don't see the stem that much. Okay. Then you have to add some dark element on the side to give it that contrast. Grab your brown. Yeah. Kind of smooth it out. Okay. And then you need some strong white. This is the shining off of the glass. That blue is going to come over here and you just kind of bring it out. Then you're going to grab your dark green and make some stems in here. So, got a stem coming through here and we're going to curve it around. Right, and stems through here. And you're just going to kind of be loose, don't be specific about it. Grab and make another stem, just a curved line. Okay, and then just take your end and go across because we know that's where 
the glasses in front of the stem. But it's going to cast some of that color onto this part of the jar. And so you'll see that. Okay. Okay, and then you bring out some white on top of that blue as the reflection. Okay. I'm going to lay down this bottom part just a little bit more. And define this side. Okay. And this is kind of like a tan, so you can grab some of your white. And I like to always blend with my finger. It makes it look so smooth. Then I'm going to come through here and add some green to the side. Blend it in. And what I'm just doing right now is I'm making a blurry background. And I want to have some of the colors that are in the painting in that background because then I'll make it look like it all comes together. So just spread it around. Okay. And go on the outsides of the flowers. And I'm just going to have this blue on the one side because I don't want it to be too strong. I want it to just be a lot more white than anything. Smear it, move it up here, move any of the excess to this side. Once it dries, it's really difficult to blend, so you want to get it blended while it's wet. Add a little bit of purple to the side. Okay, so see how I have the blue right here? It needs to have a little bit of the blue on the opposite side to bring in some balance. So I don't even have to do much, I just have to do a little. And it'll balance it out. And I give art tips to my patrons every week so you can learn these things like balancing your painting and how to use the the elements of art and what kind of rules to kind of pay attention to, whether you should keep them or break them, that kind of thing. I'll be teaching to my Patreons because they are supporting me, helping me make these videos. So I want to give them something extra for that. Okay, so now we're going to come in and do our flowers. Now the thing about peonies is the values are really important. And a value is the difference between the light and the dark areas. So they kind of look like they're little cabbages um, and there's a lot of light and dark areas and they're kind of in a pokey formation. But you don't have to make this look real. You just have to give it the appearance that it's a peony. So here in the middle we have the formation starting. So let's start with your dark and then we can move to the light and we can just put the light right over the top of the dark and the dark will show through. So take your brush, put it in your, your pink. Let's do a line right here for a petal. And then a squiggly line right here goes into that line. So in the middle it's kind of just scrunched up. And then it gets to a point where the scrunched up portion separates from the leafed out. And there's a line there. And it's definitely, definitely not a perfect line. So you just kind of go around. Okay, and sometimes you get a petal 
kind of splits it apart. So let's do a petal here. And then you have your dark line going around again. Okay, you have to go around that petal. Right, and then once you get to the top here, you can't really see this indented line, so what you do is you start making your petals. So it starts moving into petal formation. So you just kind of come up here, make a petal, and remember they have really jaggedy edges. And they go, they run into each other. Okay. So you have the inside done pretty much. You want to add a little bit more of the dark to give it that look that it's more cabbagey. And I'm just being very, very random, squiggly, squiggly. Okay. Then when you get to the outside, what happens is the inside is always darker and the outside is always lighter. And they'll be like little cracks where there is some dark, but mostly it's not. So you just give it some cracks. So this one isn't done, but that's the formation right there. Okay, so let's come down to this one. This one isn't quite open all the way, and so it has a lot of folds in it. We're going to show those folds with squiggly lines, and then right here on this left side, you're going to have this dark area, and it kind of formed right there. Just go together with that one. Okay, and this part right here is going to be very light. We're going to use our liner and it's going to be a petal and there's going to be petals coming in here. So all we need to do is add the darkness between each petal. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of smearing with our fingers because we want that to blend. Okay. Right, and then it's starting to unfold. So there's one nice big petal right here, and it's very light, so we're not going to really do a whole lot with our brush, but just outline it. And of course, it is very squiggly of an outline. Okay, so this one, this petal's breaking apart from it. There's a petal right here, and the petals are round but they're squiggly. Oop, that was a lot. And they're light on the end, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my liner here and I'm going to give it that squiggly line. Okay. And then when I come in with my pink, I can blend it. All right? So this definitely definitely is different than the rest of the painting, so it's really going to be focused on these two areas is where I'm going to put the liners, okay? Across this edge, another petal. Another one that's coming across here. See how it's starting to look like a peony? And then this one's folding into that one. This is an edge right here. Okay. This is an edge right there, so I'm just go cross that like that. This is the contrasted area, so go around this line. Okay, there's a petal right through here. Okay, so we have this edge of a petal and an edge of a petal. Okay. And this one's an edge of a petal because it was coming out. There's a good portion of white right there. This comes in. OK. 
Okay, and then we start having this petal right here that's coming apart from it. And it's jaggedy on the outside and loops in like that. Okay, and another one right here. Some folds. So we'll have some pink right there. Let's see, and then this right here was one. Okay. All right. So that is our main one right there, and then our main one right here. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to outline some of these. We're just going along the edges of the dark areas, and that's going to add contrast. Going in and out between, just around all these dark things, and I'm being very jaggedy, not smooth. Okay, and that'll give it the contrast it needs in there, in that middle section. Okay, along these edges, so this, remember, was the dark part. So you're going to have some edges right through here, away from that darkness. And it comes in and makes a petal. See how that works? This section right here is a petal. This one's breaking apart. This is the bottom portion of the petal. This is the top portion of the petal. Around this one, see this is a petal right here. You're just kind of chunking them together. Okay, across that. Same thing here, so this is the bottom. This is the top. Okay, so you have some bottom and tops here. This one can be going into that one. Okay, see how it's starting to look more like a peony? Okay, so out here on this edge, we have a lot of lines and um, petals. So I'm just gonna go through here and just add some jaggedies. And because I'm not being real detailed with this painting, this is all that's going to be on the outside, and then it's going to be blurred. So, just give it some jaggies. Yes, I'm using the word jaggies. Go around this part. Give it a little thing right there. A little zigzag right there. Go around that leaf. Around that. Okay, you want to let that dry and probably just add a little bit, whew, a little bit over here and a little bit down here. That's going to add balance, okay, because you have a heavy portion right here and you just want to balance it out on the side by adding a little bit of that over there. Maybe one little dot or two right there. Okay. Okay, everything else is going to be very blurry. <laughs> you shall see. I have my pink mix right here. This is the light color I want. So what I'm going to come do is I'm just going to come in here and with my finger, going in a jaggedy formation, smearing it. Okay, see how you don't really need the detail. It's already looking like one. Your brain's going to make it make sense. This is the real fast part. Okay, so there is a little bit difference of a color, 
with some of these peonies and I'm looking this side right here has a little bit more of a light color with a teeny bit of a different pink it's more of a, a really light red it has a little more red in it that's what it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down with a little more red it's still gonna be pink just lighter and a different color and I want to make sure I have the other color in there too it's just just a little bit different And see how I left that dark right there? It's not dark like that in the picture, but I like that, so I'm just going to leave it there. It's the beauty of painting. Sometimes things happen by chance that you want to keep. This one up here is a little bit darker. It's got higher contrast between it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down dark around the edges of that white line that I had created and add a little bit of purple. That's going to make it look a little darker. And this is going to make this one stand out more because it needs to have that contrast in it. And separate from this one right here. I hope you wanted to paint with your fingers today. <laughs> So right now what I'm doing is I'm coming in here and I'm adding white and it's going to make this look like it's curled in like this, like, like this is cupped this way. This one has more contrast as well, and that's going to add balance. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm actually going to add purple down. And that seems really strong right now, but don't you worry. I'm just going to blend it. Okay. And then add those jaggedy lines on the outside here. I have to come in and make those and that's a leaf right here I'm gonna see how I kind of separated that and then what I do is when I come in here I can separate it with my white okay see how that worked make it look more like a flower all right so this should be dry so what you're going to do now is you're just going to start from the light color so this light 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 pink make sure it's pretty light okay you're coming here and just go over it this light color. And then when you get in the center, add a little more color. Add more color in that middle part. You want that contrast. And you can wipe away any extra and see that iridescency on the top. Okay, see how it's darker in the center and then what I need to do is 
kind of follow some of these down here with a little darker. Blend it up. And that outside is always lighter. So let's come in here, lighten it up. Okay, you see how it's coming together? Okay, so this one right here is going to have a little more of the darker in the middle, but it's still going to be lighter than what's there now, so I'm just going to have to wipe it away if it gets too dark. Okay, and then it's lighter on the outside. Okay, and then the petals on the outside have the color in the inside of the petal, just right here, right here, and then they get lighter on the outside, so we'll add that in the inside here, like that, and then we'll add straight white to the outside, and that'll blend it. Okay, I have something going on down here. Oh, looking at it, it's just really light. So there's some pink there. And it's that, it's like that one. Got a little bit of the red in there. So. Okay. So now with the green, I'm going to grab my brush. Oh, make sure that you always have your brush in your turpentine. I forgot to put it back in my turpentine and it starts to dry up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to add the dark, okay, right through here, and then add the lighter green right here. It just gives it some difference there. Let me see what it looks like my picture, green that comes through here, and if you don't like the lines you just come in here with your finger and rub some of them out. There's absolutely no green on this side and then the green comes down here. So what I'm going to do because I wanted to show some of this um, jar in there. I'm just going to change it up because I don't want it covered. And I'm going to make these leaves kind of pokey. Like this. So this one pokey's this way. So I'm just going to go right. And this one goes behind it. This is a leaf got to be attached somewhere. It's just coming out of nowhere. Okay. And let's just show like a little bit of green right through here. And then let that be pink. And oh, there's that pretty that flower has a little bit of separation right here that's very, very dark. So again, I'm going to grab that purple. And this will balance out that as well. I'm go along this edge because it seems to like come with the green. But it's not the green. Separates that. Okay. Come in here. Pink. Needs a jaggedy edge to make it look like it's normal. <laughs> And then because the reflection 
will come onto the table. We'll put some blue here. And ellipse right here. Line. Now I'm going to come in here and add my blue lines. Giving it the look. And of course, it kind of goes over the stems but under the leaves. Okay, I like the idea of putting a little petal right here. So now you're going to see me soften this so that this stands out. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my mop brush and I'm going to grab my white and a tiny bit of this brown and then I'm just going to come through here and just soften it. And then you can go ahead and get your liner and use your liner to sign your work. There you go. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.